Just a quick video to show the um, useful, usefulness of an oscilloscope when you're dealing with microcontrollers. I have this uh, ESP8266, it's like a Node MCU off-brand, and I have a little temperature sensor hooked to it. It's an ADT7410, it's an I squared C sensor, and the readings I was getting were like ridiculous. It was communicating with the sensor, but I was getting readings of like minus 200 degrees Fahrenheit and it would fluctuate within a couple degrees like it was normally fluctuating, but not, uh, obviously it's not minus 200 in here. So I hooked it up to the scope on the uh, I squared C lines and that at first glance that looks normal, but actually Let's see if I can get it to uh, trigger here. This this is a an Agilent 54622A oscilloscope. It's an old one, but it's actually still pretty good, uh, even compared to many modern scopes. It has uh, quite a bit of memory, and it's a simple scope, but the, but it it has all the features you need. But anyway, it, it will trigger on I squared C, which is pretty cool, and. You can see here that we're actually getting a bunch of, um, I don't know if you'd call those runt pulses or um, what, but it's not switching between high and low states fully. See there, it looks like we've got a, that, sh that should be a high, should be up here, and it didn't make it for whatever reason, and then looks like it didn't go up there also. And here we've got a couple that didn't go down to ground all the way. Those would probably be interpreted correctly since they would be within the, the logic range, but these would not. So that's what's happening here. So it, it's likely due to the fact that I, um, I shorted out this uh, microcontroller here. You can see that diode that I've replaced. I had um, I had it connected to power and somehow moved it over some of the some some other piece of metal or wires or something and and shorted it out and I assume the only thing wrong was that protection diode which I replaced but maybe something else happened <laughs> so I'll try a different microcontroller or, may, or possibly it may work on different pins anyway I thought I'd show that. So you can see the you know the usefulness of of an oscilloscope because you wouldn't really be able to tell what's going on otherwise with these half 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 pulses. You can see we've got the the data on top and the clock on the bottom. So hopefully someone finds that interesting.